Welcome back once again on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Center Com Channel 10. That'll wrap up our Snow College pregame show. Snow College ranked 14th in student satisfaction with RateMyProfessors.com. Turn on your education, go to snow.edu. Let's send it over to Rick Robbins for our starting lineups, brought to you by Discount Furniture. Okay, for the Lady Wasp, they are the visiting team today. They are in their road crimson uh, jerseys trimmed in gold and black. So starting for the Lady Wasps, number three junior at forward, Will O.K. Starting at guard, number 11, senior Tatum Hyatt. Starting at guard, number 13, senior uh, Bailey Heap. Starting at forward, a senior, number 25, Emilia Anderson. And starting at guard, a junior, number 30, Megan Robbins. For the home team, the Lady Wildcats are in their white home uniforms, trimmed in blue and red today. Starting a senior, number 22, Alexa Lord. Number 34, junior, Jerrica Steck. Number five, junior, Jordan Moon. Uh, number 35, junior, Amanda Oldroyd. And a junior, number two, Passion Rights for the Lady, uh, Lady Wildcats. Jerrica Steck for the Wildcats will tip against Willow K of Juab. Here they go. There's the tip. It's going to be a loose ball on the sideline. Tip by Bailey Heap. Back in to Robbins. Megan Robbins brings it up for the Juab Lady Wasps. We're underway in this third place state game here from the Sevier Valley Center in Richfield. Right wing pass goes to Robbins. She drives baseline, terminate short corner. Now looking to pass it. Now she's going to have to get rid of it and does, but picked off by Wrights of Richfield. Yeah, the Lady Wildcats with pressure man-to-man -man defense to start this one out. Out top it goes to the Wildcats. Lord, Alexa drives in, lost the ball, tipped out of bounds. There's that tough Juab defense to start off. Great job there by Emilia Anderson, the senior, showing some leadership there, stepping into the passing lane for the steal. 7.27 left in the first quarter, no score in this one. Here comes the Lady Wasps. Hyatt gets it from Heap. Now to the right wing. Anderson out to Robbins for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound in the corner, picked up by the Richfield Lady Wildcats. Amanda Oldroyd. Back comes Richfield, right corner, three, Steck. Hits it, 3 nothing. Richfield. Yeah, Jerrica Steck there just lining up straight away, three in the coffin corner. Back the other way comes Juab with the basketball, left side. Now pass underneath, tipped away and st almost stolen away, but grabbed by Amalia Anderson. Now back over to Heap, out top to Hyatt. Hyatt with the basketball, passes off to Robbins. Robbins out top, now pass down low to Kay. Kay double team shoots it up and rims it off, no good, but she is going to be fouled and she'll be at the free throw line. Yeah, Will OK there uh, with a nice uh, drop step in the paint, and she was very strong yesterday against Emery, uh, showing her inside presence. And she's going to be at the foul line here, shooting two. The foul looks like that's going to be on number 22, Alexa Lord, her first for the Wi Lady Wildcats. First one bounces off no good, so the shots that the Wasps have taken right now have uh, not gone in, of course, as we have a free throw missed. We had a three missed by Robbins. There's the second one. That bounces out no good. So the Wasps uh, offers on the shooting today so far. Not off to the start that Coach Wallace uh, uh, wants. Uh, hopefully the w Lady Wasps uh, can get things settled down here. Now with it, the Lady Wildcats swing it right wing. Wrights gets it over to the right side, gets it back. Delaney Wrights in the lane, gets tied up nicely by Willow K for the jump ball call. Great job there by Willow again, just uh, on the hustle play there, getting her hands in, tying up the ball uh, for a jump call. So inbounds play, jump ball goes in favor of the Lady Cats. Wrights will put it inbounds, gets it down low, and then a quick foul by Willow K as she bumps into the Lady Wildcats' Amanda Oldroyd. That'll be the first team foul for the Wasps in this 3-0 game in favor of Richfield. 6-0-1 left here in the first quarter. Your Drew Bay Chevrolet score check. You see the Lady Wildcats here setting up for an inbounds play. Uh, they're in a box formation. Inbounds rights, gets it into Steck. Jerrica dribbles to the lane, floats one up, can't get it to go, gets her own loose ball rebound and scores. Jerrica Steck with five points. Yeah, the junior there, Jerrica Steck with a strong uh, left to right move and gets her own rebound and put back. Back the other way comes Juab, gets tipped away. Richfield with the near steal, diving for it as Bailey Heap down low. And it's going to be tied up, and it's going to be jump ball. That one in favor of the Juab Lady Wasps. Ladies getting down and dirty early in this one. Yeah, they're, they're playing hard. You know, some sloppy play here. Uh, 
with uh, the late Lady Wasp here. They want to settle things down and get into their offense. 5-0 Richfield with the lead. 540 left here in the first. And there's a jump shot from three. Hits the rim no good for Heap. And then taken back the other way. Here comes Richfield left side. Long jumper by Oldroyd from three. That is no good. Rebound secured by Juab. Great rebound there by Megan Robbins uh, to get control of the possession. Back the other way comes Juab out top. Goes Heap right wing. Goes to Anderson. Emilia dribbles to the free throw line. Pass tipped by the Wildcats. Grabbed on that far side. Now driving in is Robbins. Back to the right side to Anderson. Anderson drives. 5-0. She gets bumped hard by Oldroyd. That's going to be Richfield's second team foul. You see Oldroyd there almost inviting Emilia Anderson to drive baseline side. And Emilia says, I'll take it. And uh, Oldroyd picks up a blocking foul, her first. Inbounds play, baseline right. Hyatt gets it in. That's going to be stolen away by Oldroyd. Jump ball called as Heap and Anderson tie it back up. But a great defensive job there by Oldroyd as the possession arrow is in favor of Richfield. Yeah, Lady Wasp here just a little bit discombobulated with their passing and uh, an ill-advised pass there uh, on the inbounds play, uh, giving the ball back to the Lady Wildcats. To Lenny Wrights will dribble to the far side. Now there's a jump shot on the way. That's no good. Rebound taken by Juab. 440 left in the first, 5 nothing. Richfield leading the Lady Wasps. Lady Wasps on the left wing. Bounce pass out top. Now to the right side, Robbins launches the three, banks it in good. As Robert Lovell so eloquently says, the bank is open. <laughs> <laughs> and that's but, Cash Valley Bank, right? That's right, Cash Valley Bank is open. Now right corner, Jerrica Steck for a long jumper, a three ball for Jerrica Steck, her second. It's 8-3 to three, Richfield. Yeah, the junior, Jerrica Steck, she's found her spot in that deep coffin corner. She really likes that look right there, her second three in that spot. Now baseline left. Now dribbling to the top of the key is going to be Hyatt. Tatum Hyatt swings it over to Robbins. Robbins had just banked in a three moments ago. Gives it off to Hyatt again. Now left wing to Anderson. Emilia swings it around. You have being patient here, not a Hyatt right angle. Out top. Now, do you have dribbles in? Back out to the right wing to Hyatt. You know, the good thing about the Lady Wasps, they played against one of the best defenses in the state yesterday, and they're lost in the semifinals. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Emory, uh, just a solid team all the way around, and so they should be ready for this pressure defense today. Now, left wing pass, two, 327 left in the first quarter. Driving in, scooping it up, almost scoring it was Hyatt. The rebound taken by Richfield, though. Great patience by the Lady Wasp there, and it just got a great look at it, and Tatum una unable to finish. Driving under the basket, Richfield. There's another shot up. That's a whistle and a foul, and it looks like going to the free throw line is going to be number 22, I believe, Alexa Lord. It is. Yeah, a strong move there by the senior, Alexa Lord, on baseline side and uh, drawing contact with Willow Kay, who picks up her second foul. And Willow may be substituted for here. And she will, checking in, is Brindley Bender also in there. I believe is Clark, isn't it? Val yeah, Val, Clark. yeah, Val Clark is in for Emilia Anderson. Second free throw on the way, and that is good by Alexa Lord. And Richfield takes a 10-3 lead here in the first quarter. Score update a presentation of Richfield Kids Dental. Out top, Lady Wasp work at left wing. With it there is Clark. Val picks up the dribble now, dishes off to Robbins. Working the perimeter on the pass work all the way to the right corner. It goes to Hyatt. She goes to the baseline drive. Nice slashing move. Scores off the window. Yeah, strong move there by Tatum Hyatt. She's been using that move more and more as the season's gone on. Just a very athletic player driving baseline side. At top is Jordan Moon for Richfield. Passes to Lord. Lord drive, shoots, bounces off the backboard. Rebound picked up by Richfield. Left wing, Steck for three. Bullseye! Another beautiful Valley Tank three-pointer. Yeah, she's really feeling it. Jerrica Steck lining another one up, her third three-pointer in the quarter. Now with the basketball is going to be Bailey Heap. Heap swings around to the left side. With it is Hyatt, who just had that nice slashing drive for the bucket. 13-5, Richfield with the lead, a timeout. Taken by the Juab Lady Wasps with 2.17 left in the first. This is an Intermountain Power Service Corporation timeout. We'll be right back. 
Azomite Mineral Products in Nephi is using a unique deposit to create fertilizers and as a feed ingredient for customers all over the world. Their feed grit product used as a feed ingredient for livestock is gaining popularity because research has indicated its potential to improve overall animal health. Azomite can be found at your IFA country store, Steve Regan stores, or on their website at azomite.com. For more information, visit them on Facebook, Twitter, or the web. Azomite is excited to be part of the Nephi community and supports UAB High School Athletics. Welcome back once again here on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centrogram Channel 10. Mike Trainer, Rick Robbins, Nate Palmer with you, bringing you live coverage at the Sevier Valley Center in Richfield with the 3A State Girls and Boys Basketball Tournament. It's the girls game, third place game between the Juab Lady Wasps, Richfield Lady Wildcats. Lady Cats on top 13-5. To out top, Hyatt drives in for Richfield, loses her handle, falls out of bounds with the ball, turns it over to the Richfield Wildcats. Yeah, that time Tatum kind of going back to the well again, trying to penetrate uh, right side. But this time, uh, Richfield doing a great job of collapsing their defense to stop penetration. Here comes Wrights for Richfield. Angle right pass to Vaka Takakala. Now back out to the left wing. With it there, holding the ball is going to be Allison Lord. Now back over, left side, three ball on the way. Hits the iron high, no good. Vaka Takakala almost had the rebound, knocked it out of bounds for Richfield. It'll be Juab basketball. Yeah, fortunate there for the Lady Wasp. She had inside position and uh, just couldn't control it. And Lady Wasp uh, with the ball. Now with a minute 43 left in the first, 13 to 5 our score. The Lady Wasp will bring it up. Bailey Heap, left angle pass goes to Clark. Clark gives it back out top. Again to Bender. Right angle, Robbins. Now to the right corner to Heap. Working it around, back the other way now, looking for a seam in that Richfield defense. Now holding it on the left angle. He's going to be Hyatt, swings it back out top. And Juab looking for a drive. They're reversing the passes, looking for trying to find a driving lane, but they can't find one. Well, Richfield doing a great job with their pressure man-to-man -man defense, and we just got a traveling call against Robbins there. But uh, the thing that Coach Peterson does such a great job with is backside help. Richfield's always in a great position to seal off the backside and make it very difficult for any team to try to penetrate on, uh, on the reverse. A minute two left in the first, 13-5. Richfield by eight, pass down low to Vako Takakala. Takakala with the shot, no good. Rebound taken by Juab. Of course, the second time I said her name, I left the first part of her name off, but <laughs> just a little easier sometimes, right? <laughs> right? Left wing goes to the Lady Wasps as they work it over. Left side bender out top for three. Bailey Heap bounces it off, no good. Rebound taken by Wrights of Richfield. To Lenny. Dribbles to the top of the key. Now makes a move down the lane. She goes, bounce pass to the block. Shot is partially blocked by Juab on the shot try that time by Jordan Moon and taken by Juab. Yeah, great defensive play there by Tatum Hyatt, just holding her position and uh, as a guard going up and blocking that shot. Now right wing, Megan Robbins for Juab. Passes out top, left wing, it goes. Now with it on the left side is Hyatt to Robbins, left angle, being bothered by Moon of Richfield. Now dribbles in, back out to a three ball there, rims off no good for Robbins, and that'll end the first quarter of play as time expired. 13 to five, Richfield leads after one quarter of play in this state third place game on the girls' side in class 3A. We'll be back on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centragom Channel 10. Winter may be just starting, but Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore is already thinking spring. In fact, Brooklyn Garden has started planting flowers and will soon have pansies sprouting. So as the winter weather continues to turn colder, think spring warm with Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore and start planning how your yard will look next year and plan on Brooklyn Garden for all your planting needs this upcoming spring. Call or visit Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore at 881 South Brooklyn Road. Classic Motors 120 South Main Richfield announcing Ram Truck Month, the 2018 Dodge V6 Journey. $7,600 off yours for $20,048. 2019 Ram Tradesman out the door at $34,169. The 2018 Ram 2500 Tradesman Crew Cab discounted nearly $7,500 under $38,000. A 2018 Jeep. Welcome back once again on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centricom Channel 10. Mike Trainer, Rick Robbins, Nate Palmer running our production here. After one quarter of play, 13-5 Richfield. 
Well, I think the key's been on the defensive end for the Lady Wildcats. It's just been stifling them, they, not allowing Juab to get in their their offense. And on the other end, uh, what can you say about Jerrica Steck's uh, first quarter performance with three threes and just really lighting it up? Now the Wasps start out with the basketball out top. Amelia Anderson, Amelia Anderson, excuse me, back out to the right wing, goes to Clark. Clark almost fell out of bounds. Nice tightrope dance to pass it off to Bender. Now out top, Hyatt. Hyatt, left wing pass to Heap. Heap's going to drive in, lost her dribble, got fouled on the play by Alexa Lord. Helped up by the Lady Cats, Jerrica Steck. Good sportsmanship there from both teams. Yeah, that time uh, the Lady Wildcats a little bit over aggressive on their defensive pressure and uh, foul, uh, blocking foul called. Going to tally that one to uh, Wrights, Passion Wrights. Out top it goes for Juab to Hyatt. Inbounds play. They work it around a heap on the right angle outside the arc. Out top it goes. Clark for three. Bullseye! Valerie Clark. Well, Val Clark, they're doing a great job. Coming off the, the double screen curl cut over the top, and she gets straight away on the right side angle. Gets squared up and knocks down the long three to give uh, Juab some momentum here going into the second quarter. Now Wrights passes to Bakatakala. Over to the left side of Lord. Seven minutes left in the second. 13-8, Richfield leads. Now to the high right post. It goes to Allison Lord. Now pass to the high post. There's a shot by Wrights. Rims off, no good. Nice rebound on the block by Emilia Anderson. Uh, Lady Wildcats there with a uh, great shot and an open look and uh, just as uh, equal as well played as the rebound for Emilia Anderson. Emilia out top with the basketball. Passes right side. Now he has it. Gets a nice screen, but nowhere to go with it. Tough defense there by Vakao Takakala, and then knocked out of bounds as losing it was Val Clark, and she touches it out of bounds. Yeah, I, I don't think Val expected the pass to come as quick as it did. She was very close to Bailey there, unable to handle it, a little bit hot, and uh, goes out of bounds, turnover, Lady Wildcat ball. Into Wrights. Wrights holds up a fist with her left hand as she dribbles top of the key in the forecourt. Bounce pass to Vakao Takakala. Vakao Takakala now passes out top again to Lord, Allison Lord. Passes right wing to Alexis, Alexa Lord, and she hits the three. Well, senior Alexa Lord there squaring up uh, on the right angle beyond the arc and knocking it down. Back the other way, 16-8. Richfield with the lead. Juab with the ball. Swinging it to Clark. Out top to Anderson. Emilia swings an angle right to Bender. Bender off. Hyatt right wing three on the way. That's way off. She was open, thought she should take it, but really didn't size it up and taken by Richfield. Well, traditionally, she's really been a, more of a slasher and not so much a, a, you know, a three-point shooter. Uh, probably not the shot that she wanted to take there. Lord to Lord. Alexa drives the lane back out to Allison Lord. Down low to Vakao Takakala. She goes up for the shot, and Sapola gets fouled. So Sapola, Vakao Takakala will be at the free throw line. Well, what a strong move there by Sapola, just holding her position on the low block and then sealing the the Wasp defender, and uh, she's going to draw contact, and she's at the line now for two. Vakao Takakala, first free throw up, bounces off the iron, hits the backboard, goes in. Sapolo will have one more. Checking into the game for the Lady Cats, Jordan Moon. In for the Lady Wasps is going to be Megan Robbins. Hyatt will take a seat. Emilia Anderson uh, picks up her first foul on that play. Second free throw by Vakao Takakala. And that's good. So 18 to 8, a 10 point Richfield lead on the Jones and DeMille Engineering scoreboard. Looks like Amanda Oldroyd has checked back in uh, for the Lady Wildcats. Here come the Lady Wasps, trailing by 10. Megan Robbins swings it over left side, midcourt near the huge orange S painted on the floor for Snow College. Now off to Bender, back to Clark, angle left. Top to Robbins, right wing, now to the right. Corner it goes. Bailey Heap will drive from the left angle, shoots it up, and rims it off no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by the Lady Cats. That was last touched by number 35. That was Amanda Oldroyd. Well, that's that's the shot Bailey Heap's got to take. She's been a slasher all season long, and she likes to get in the lane and, and make that make that move. Pass into Heap. Baseline jumper rims off no good from about eight. She's fouled, and she'll be back to the Nephi Federal Credit Union free throw line. A strong move there. She just muscles that one up, and it uh, looks like uh, Jerrica Steck draws some contact. The foul, though, called on number five, Jordan Moon. Looks like her first personal. And the free throw line, first one up, and that is good. Makes it 18-9. to nine. Richfield leads by nine now as the Lady Wasps cut it to single digits. Well, the free throw 
shooting game is going to be big for the Lady Wash. They have not been as effective in the tournament from the free throw line as they'd like to be. As I say that, Bailey misses the second. But an offensive board in the right corner by Anderson. Anderson trapped and a five-second call, and she turns it over. Almost had an opportunity to try to throw it off a leg of a wildcat, but when you're in that position, you're just trying to get rid of the ball. Yeah, that's tough. You know, uh, you really don't. You're in that corner, and you, you're swarmed by the defense. Not a lot you can do other than throw it off their leg or call timeout. Uh, unfortunately for the Lady Wasp, unable to do that in a, a turnover. So it's going to be a Richfield ball coming out of the timeout. Looks like they did get the timeout. You're right. 5:03 left in the second. 18-9. Our score. We'll be back right after this timeout. Brought to you by Kimball Roberts. Unique gifts, furniture, and home decor with a staff second to none. That describes the Discount Furniture Outlet at 115 North Main Richfield. Chad Larson and his helpful, friendly staff welcome you to experience the quality and especially the hometown service as you shop local in Richfield. Discount Furniture Outlet is the place to go for home, office, furniture, and decor. 115 North Main Richfield, proudly serving the Sevier Valley cities and towns. Welcome back once again on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centricom Channel 10. The Wasps did get the timeout called. In the right corner is going to be Clark. Gets it into Robin. She'll dribble top of the key with five minutes left in the first half. Now right wing to Clark. Val almost traveled, but now she fires it over to the top to Anderson. Left wing goes to Robbins. Robbins, one bounce dribble, swings it over to Heap on the left side. Heap, oh, nice crossover dribble. Comes up, pull up jumper on the way from the baseline. Bounces high, no good. Rebound taken by Anderson, goes in and shoots. She can't get it to go again. And loose ball picked up by the Lady Cats. Well, a great second effort there by Emilia. Driving in a shot, rims off, no good for Wrights. Rebound nicely by Willow Kay of Juap. Yeah, very strong rebound there by the junior, Willow Kay. Now here come the Lady Wasps the other way, trailing 18 to 9. 420 left in the second quarter. Now top is Clark. Val lobs it into the high post. Bailey Heap drives down, shoots, scores off the glass. What a powerful move by Bailey Heap. Yeah, that's a strong move by Bailey Heap to get her confidence and get her rolling here for the Lady Wasp, and they're going to come back here with a 1-2-2 zone trap. Now here comes Richfield the other way. Wrights gets it to Steck out top to Lord. Lord bounce pass down low, goes to her teammate Moon. She backs it back out to the left wing. Now to Lord out top. Right wing Jerrica Steck to the right corner goes to Oldroyd. 3.50 left in the second, Richfield 18, Juab 11. Driving down the lane, Alexa Lord gets a travel called as she runs into the defense, nowhere to go, and took that extra step. Well, Lady Wasp there, just an excellent job collapsing in the paint to cut off the penetration, giving Lord nowhere to go other than to travel. And uh, Juab trying to get some momentum back right here with the 18-11 uh, score. 3.40 left in the second. On the dribble up is Robbins. Megan's right wing pass goes to Hyatt, who checked back in. Tatum. Top of the key pass to Willow K. K back out to Anderson. Emilia dribbles in, right wing pass to Hyatt. Hyatt dribbles to the corner. Good defense by Alexa Lord to follow it. Now to the left wing. Willow K, baseline drive, goes up, shot is blocked. Rebound put back loose, almost put in by Anderson. Now a whistle and a foul. Knocked down is Jordan Moon, and then Willow K helps her up. I, I think the official actually called that play out of bounds, giving the ball back to the Lady Wasp. Well, a break there for Juab. You're right. Inbounds play to the right corner. Now to Heap through K. Back to Hyatt right corner. Guarded by Jerrica Steck of Richfield. Dribbles to the right angle. Pass out to the left wing. Driving into the lane. Here comes Anderson. Shoots it up. Gets fouled. Runs into one of the Lady Cats. And she'll be at the free throw line. Well, you like to see that from Emily Anderson. Just another strong move by the senior. Yesterday she had a violent collision on the floor and uh, had a, a bloody nose and come right back. Timeout on the court, 3.06 left in the second quarter. It's Richfield 18, Juab 11. We'll be back after this on this Garrett Hunt at a timeout. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to BarneyTrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. Thanks for joining us here on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centric on Channel 10. Right now, the Juab Lady Wasps making some noise. They trailed by 10 points in this game. Now they brought it within 7, 18 to 11, and now they have two free throws that can make it even closer. Climbing back in this one, just, you know, one possession at a time. And uh, as we said in the pregame, 
this was going to be probably a, a low-scoring physical uh, scrum, and it so far it has been. Emily Anderson makes the first free throw. She has one more, and it is no good. And we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound on Willow K. That's her third, I believe, if that is on Willow. It is. Yes, it is. That's a tough call. And uh, Coach Wallace immediately uh, pulls Willow out of the game uh, with her third foul there uh, on the rebound. 18-12 our score. Richfield by six. Here comes a little trap at midcourt by Jueb. Dribbling out of it is Wrights. To Lenny Wrights. Swings it back over to Moon. Jordan Moon passes in the lane. Alexa Lord cross post. Reading it nicely was Bailey Heap to tie it up for the jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Richfield, but great defense by Bailey. Well, that all starts with the zone trap that Juab's in. Whoever's got the backside is going to step down and, and try to cut off that cross-court pass as Bailey did. 2.48 left in the first half, 18-12. Into right's left corner. Down low it goes to Lord. Back out to right. She'll drive the lane, kicks it back out. Oldroyd for three. Got it! Amanda Oldroyd with a three-pointer there. Well, Wright's doing a great job of drawing the double team and then kicking it to Oldroyd for the wide-open three. Here comes Juab the other way, trailing 21 to 12 now. 2.27 left in the first half. Robbins gets it to Clark. Clark right wing to Hyatt. Tatum rifles it down low to Heap and just a little too big for her. She actually, had she gone for the ball, she may have been able to grab it. Yeah, she had did have position and had the defender on the high side of, of her hip, but uh, just couldn't handle the pass a little bit too hot and flat and uh, turnover, so it's going to be Lady Wildcat ball. Leading by nine, 21 to 12. Again, out top, swing it to the right side. Jerrica Steck, bounce pass down to Oldroyd. She takes the shot. She is fouled. She'll be back over, taking a trip to the Classic Motors free throw line. Well, you see the Lady Wildcats here with great ball movement, getting the ball to Oldroyd uh, under the basket with a shot there, and uh, Bailey Heap coming in to pick up the foul her first. Free throw bounces out, no good for Amanda Oldroyd. She's kind of too close. She hit the three. She needs to be behind the three line. Right. <laughs> she dialed it up on the last one. Free throw is up and good on the second try. Back to a 10-point lead for Richfield, 22-12. to 12. Well, just like that, Richfield jumps back out to a 10-point lead uh, in two possessions with a three and a free throw. So here's the dribble on top. There's a pass. Three ball on the way. Uh, Emily Anderson almost had it. Rebound picked up by Val Clark on the missed shot. Now to the right wing to Heap. Bailey dribbles to the high post, back out to Robbins, launches the three. That's off the glass, no iron. Rebound Wrights, here comes Richfield. Wrights dribbles to the left wing, back out to Steck, angle left. Lost the ball. Bailey Heap has it, but she's fouled by Jerrica Steck, who was on the floor and dusts off her knee, and it'll be Juab ball. Well, great hustle there by Steck and Heap, both of them going after the 50-50 ball, and uh, Bailey getting control, and then uh, Jerrica just running into her feet and picks up her first personal. Back comes Richfield, working into the right angle to hide it. Hyatt, Tatum Hyatt, dribbles into a double team. Now bounce pass over to Anderson. Emilia back out to Hyatt. She goes baseline drive, dishes back out. Picked off nicely by Jordan Moon. Lady Cats the other way. Great defense. Jerrica Steck left wing three. Got it to go. Is that her third or uh, fourth? Her fourth. Her fourth three. Three from the right side. This time she works the left side of the court and uh, once again just gets squared up and a good look at it and knocks it down. Well, good thing for Jerrica Steck. She's not prejudiced. She'll shoot from the right or the left side. Yes, she will. And there's an offensive foul called on Val Clark. And that's going to turn it over to Richfield, who has a 13-point lead now with 55 seconds left in the first half. Your score is 25 to 12. And just like that, this lead has ballooned up for Richfield. Yeah, Richfield just done a great job of gaining control of momentum again and running, running their lead back up. Moon on the right wing, pass to the right corner to Steck, who has four threes in this first half. Pass out top to Wrights. Delaney swings it around, out of Steck. Steck down to Oldroyd, tipped away by Juabs Anderson, out of bounds. Nice defense there. 25 to 12, Richfield leading the Juab Lady Wasps here in this third, fourth place game at the Sevier Valley Center in Richfield. Baseline right. Wrights gets it in left corner, three ball, Alexa Lord. Yes, another clean stroke from Alexa Lord. Yeah, Alexa Lord uh, yeah, letting her teammate know that she can hit from deep as well. This time she's in the left coffin corner and knocks that one down. A Brooklyn Garden three-pointer. Now left angle, Juab. 
Really reeling now from Rich Hill. Now driving in the lane, scoops it up. Nice drive by Hyatt. Did not go, though. And rebound by Lord of Richfield. Yeah, Tatum Hyatt there expecting a call with some uh, contact. Jerrica Steck left wing three. That bounces off. No good. Fortunate for the Lady Wasps. Six seconds left. Can they get a shot? Stolen away by Jordan Moon. Moon gets fouled. And with 3.6 seconds, that'll send Richfield to the free throw line for a one and one. Yeah, uh, Tatum Hyatt there just uh, out of frustration. Uh, Moon makes the steal, and then uh, Tatum picking up uh, her foul. Her gonna, it's going to be her first personal. That's going to put Jordan Moon to the line here uh, for one and one. 28 to 12, Richfield with a 16 point lead. And it rooms off no good. Rebound to Anderson, three seconds left. They got to hurry, but they're not going to get a shot off. Still back on the baseline. 28 to 12, your halftime score as we head to the Jones and DeMille Engineering halftime show from slam dunks to buzzer beaters. The Jones and DeMille Engineering team is there to help you tackle the toughest infrastructure issues. We'll be right back. As tax season once again approaches, remember Kimball and Roberts at 176 North Main in Richfield. Kimball and Roberts will save you time and stress this year when they file your state and federal taxes. The tax professionals at Kimball and Roberts know and understand all the new tax codes and lingo so you don't have to. They can also help you find deductions and credits that you may miss. Skip the stress and headache and visit Kimball and Roberts at 176 North Main in Richfield or call 896 6488. No matter how you connect, Centricom delivers fast, reliable internet and powerful whole home mesh Wi Fi throughout your home for intense gaming easy sharing and buffer free streaming on every device all at once with experts ready to help connect to faster internet connect with centro wi-fi connect to now call or click centracom.com to upgrade your internet today new holland's t7 series tractors from mason machinery in springville and aurora deliver more power but lower your operating costs talk about a great combination these 100 to 195 PTO horsepower tractors feature engines with EcoBlue SCR engine technology. They breathe better for more complete combustion and deliver cleaner power, increased torque, and enhanced fuel economy. Stop by Mason Machinery in Springville and Aurora and learn more about the T7 Series tractors from New Holland. Richfield Kids Dental welcomes new dental hygienist Kaylee Peckham. Kaylee is a graduate of Utah Valley University's Dental Hygienics Program. She's proficient in cleaning teeth, including braces, applying sealants and fluoride, and Kaylee speaks fluent Spanish. Let Kaylee assist you and your family with the latest in dental hygiene practices. Richfield Kids Dental, located at the south end of Richfield, pediatric dental specialists serving infants, children, and teens in the Sevier County area and surrounding cities. D.P. Curtis Trucking is a family-oriented business that works hard to get their drivers home on the weekend. D.P. Curtis is hiring reliable drivers with starting wage at 40 cents per mile, going to 42 cents after 90 days. Additional pay for tarps, drops, bicks, and additional trailers. Employment options include insurance, 401k, paid vacation, and bonuses, and more. If you'd like to join the D.P. Curtis family, call for details, 435-893-2886. That's 893-2886, or click dpcurtis.com. We're back again on the Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show on Centricom Channel 10 and the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, supporting our youth and their efforts to develop new talents and passions. Paving the way to success, Jones and DeMille Engineering. In halftime, it's the Lady Cats leading the Juab Lady Wasps 28-12. to Let's take a look at some of our team stats, Rick. So uh, in the first half for team stats, uh, uh, Lady Wasps uh, were 4 of 17 from the field. Uh, two of nine from three, uh, free throw only five attempts, two makes, uh, total 12 rebounds and uh, uh, eight uh, turnovers. For the Lady Wildcats, they were eight of 18, so very similar uh, from the field. But it, the really, here's a key team stat for the first half, as we know, seven of 10 from uh, three-point land, Alexa Lord two of two, and Jerrica Steck four of five, so outstanding, 70%. Uh, tough to beat. Uh, from the free throw line, five of seven. Rebounds, a uh, total of 11, nine on the defensive end, two on the offensive uh, uh, end. And then another key stat here, only three turnovers for the Richfield Lady Wildcats. All right, those team stats are brought to you, of course, by Central Valley Medical Center in Nephi. Of course, the uh, Lady Cats leading this one 28 to 12. We'll take another break here on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. 
I'm Sid with Valley Tank Service. If you have a septic system, you have a significant investment, which some folks don't think much about until it gives them trouble. Responsible homeowners know that getting the life their system was designed to provide requires regular maintenance. Well, Valley Tank Service has been taking care of wastewater systems around here for 30 years. Won't you consider putting our experience to work for you? Call me at 896-4021. Thanks. Our team works hard to shape the quality of life wherever we live and work. These values allow our team to be the go-to source for rural entities. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, and Manti, visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professionals. You don't have to be a bounty hunter to get a reward when you buy a vehicle at Drew Bay Chevrolet and Delta. When you drive away from Drew Bay, you get to leave the ball and chain of shady deals behind. There are several ways to get the help you need from Drew Bay. Visit Drew Bay Chevrolet on West Main and Delta or on the web at DrewBayChevrolet.com or call 1-800-925-6094. That's how easy it is to save at Drew Bay Chevrolet and Delta. Try it for yourself and you'll find a smile on your face and some extra money in your wallet. No matter how you connect, Centricom delivers fast, reliable internet and powerful whole home mesh Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device all at once. With experts ready to help, connect to faster internet, connect with Centro Wi-Fi, connect to now. Call or click Centricom.com to upgrade your internet today. The Juab County Fair Board announces Lone Star live in concert August 8th at the Juab County Fairgrounds. Tickets go on sale April 1st. Also coming to the Juab County Fair is Crash'em Bash'em Demolition Derby action. The derby takes place at the Juab County Fairgrounds in Nephi August 10th. They don't restore them, they destroy them. The Juab County Fair Board wishes the Wasps the best of luck this season. For more information about the Lone Star concert or Demolition Derby, visit JuabCountyFair.com. That's JuabCountyFair.com. The Juab County Fair Board announces Lone Star live in concert August 8th at the Juab County Fairgrounds. Tickets go on sale April 1st. Also coming to the Juab County Fair is Crash'em Bash'em Demolition Derby action. The derby takes place at the Juab County Fairgrounds in Nephi August 10th. They don't restore them, they destroy them. The Juab County Fair Board wishes the Wasps the best of luck this season. For more information about the Lone Star concert or Demolition Derby, visit JuabCountyFair.com. That's JuabCountyFair.com. Lady Wasps and the Lady Wildcats going at it, of course, here. 28 to 12 at halftime with 2.30 left here in the third. Thanks for joining us on our Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show. They applaud the teams for their hard work, dedication, and commitment. The race for excellence has no finish line. Well, in this basketball game, let's take a look quickly at the uh, individual stats, Rick. For the Lady Wasp, uh, Tatum Hyatt with two points, Bailey Heap with three, Emily Anderson with one, also five rebounds. Megan Robbins uh, hit one three. For the Lady Wasps and Val Clark, uh, also with a three-point basket. For the Wildcats, uh, we've got Alexa Lord with eight. As we mentioned, two of two from three-point land. Jo Jerrica Steck, the junior, with 14 points, four of five from the three-point arc. Uh, also, senior, uh, junior Amanda Oldroyd with four points, and Sapola Vakatakakala with two points. All right, there's your stats. Uh, of course, brought to you by... DP Curtis Trucking and Mesa Machinery. We'll take another break. Second half action coming up. Richfield leading Juab 28 to 12 in this third fourth place game at 3A State here at the Sevier Valley Center in Richfield. In the days of the mountain men, Cache Valley, Utah became a central gathering place for trappers and explorers. They named it Cache because it was there they would store their goods and come together to trade and connect. The spirit of community continues today at Cache Valley Bank with locations and services throughout Utah, including three branches right here in San Pete County. They are Central Utah's financial outfitter. No matter your mountain, they want to see you reach the top. Cache Valley and Central Utah are rooted in grand expeditions. Let's keep that heritage alive together. Discover Cache Valley Bank. Mountains await. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. 
The trail is calling. Every turn, hill and fallen log is screaming your name. And you're ready because you have the right type of power and agility to answer the call. Introducing the Honda Pioneer 1000 with best in-class 999cc engine and the industry's only six-speed fully automatic dual-clutch transmission. Check out the Honda Pioneer 1000 at Garrett Honda, 563 North Main in Nephi. Garrett Honda, our family is serving your family for over 50 years. My name is Richard Anderson. I'm one of the general surgeons working at Central Valley Medical Center in Nephi, Utah. My trajectory was not into surgery at first. I decided to become a research scientist, but I had no opportunity to work with people. Since moving to this area, I have made lasting friends, lifelong friends, and I have enjoyed providing the same sort of quality surgical care that they can obtain in Salt Lake or Provo, but with more prompt and certainly more personal service. Ready to start the third quarter of play. The Jab Lady Wasps in the dark uniforms. Richfield in the light. And now left wing, Bailey Heap with it for Jab. They swing it around to Hyatt. Now right wing, Anderson. Emilia back out to Robbins. Robbins shakes and bakes, shoots a long jumper, rims off, no good. Straight away, rebound right. Here comes Richfield. Yeah, Robbins there with a good look at it. Lined up, just not able to knock it down. Steck left wing, hit four threes in the first. Out to Wrights for a three. And she starts it off with a hot shooting three. Well, very balanced attack here. Passion Wrights uh, coming out and s wanting to get on the scoreboard herself with her own three and a two, possibly a two and one there. Tatum Hyatt with a great drive. What a drive on the right angle by Tatum Hyatt as we watch the Center Gom Channel 10 Insta replay. Drives in, gets past Steck, lays it off the glass and draws the foul. And she's over at the Barney Trucking free throw line. And she'll have a possi possibility of answering right back. Uh, Jerrica Steck there picking up her second personal foul. Free throw on the way, a high archer, no good as it bounces away. Rebound taken by Alexa Lord. Richfield works at four court to Moon left angle. Moon pass in the lane. Oh, two players collide. Lord and Heap, they both go down. Neither one got the ball. Back out top right, she'll drive in. Denied nicely by the defense by Robbins. Back out top it goes Lord. Right wing gives it off to Steck. Jerrica, oh, nice move. Goes to the baseline, floats one up, scores it. Jerrica Steck can do it on the drive as well. Yeah, beautiful move there by Jerrica Steck, just taking a crossover dribble going right side and then uh, suspending herself in midair and using the, the glass to put that one down. Richfield, 33, Juab 14, right angle Robbins. Robbins terminates her dribble, now looking, trying to fire it out. Does to Bailey Heap. He back out top of goes, holding it as high end, right wing. Goes to Robbins, she'll uh, pass to the right corner. Driving baseline again, Hyatt shoots, can't get it to go, rebound. Taken by Willow K, playing with three fouls. Now down low shot, no good, but Emilia Anderson will be at the free throw line and she'll take a couple shots from the Cash Valley Bank charity stripe. Yeah, Emilia Anderson uh, really doing well underneath the basket, working in traffic and able to muscle her way uh, up to the rim there, not able to convert but she draws contact and it looks like uh, Jerrica Steck's going to pick up her third foul and the Wasps not very fortunate from the free throw line as they bounce that one off no good it'll be Emily Anderson's second free throw fires and scores 33 to 15 Richfield leads by 18 631 left in the third quarter full court pressure by the Lady Wasps now they break it to Oldroyd Oldroyd midcourt right side, passes to Wrights. Wrights swings it left to Steck. Steck launches the three. No, as it rims off. Rebound tip, pulled down by Willow K. A rare miss uh, by Jerrica Steck there in that coffin corner. Right wing drive. Robbins gets denied by Moon. Now looking to pass it off. Does midcourt right side. Goes to Tatum Hyatt. Left angle to Anderson. Emilia dribbles in. Tipped away by Wright. Stolen away by Oldroyd of Richfield. A great job there by Passion Wrights to get the steal, and she's going to push it up court here. Angle right pass to Lord. Alexa dribbles to the corner, hands it off there to Wright. She'll drive into the high post, back out top, Oldroyd. Good defense by Willow K to prevent the three. Now to Wright's angle left, to Moon left corner. Skip pass to the right wing to Steck. Jerrica passes top of the key, driving in Oldroyd. Right wing, Wrights couldn't take the three, dribbles in. Bounce pass out top, Richfield will reset. 5.33 left in the third, driving in. Lord shot is blocked by Willow K. Uh, and taken away. Yeah, that's textbook defense right there. Willow K just straight up. Now back out top. Hyatt, left angle. Open is Robbins for three. Off the iron, no good. And uh, 
Megan has struggled with her shot in this tournament. I'm not sure if it's the floor, the depth perception with the backboard suspended like it is or what, but she has struggled in this yeah, tournament. Yeah, you watch the flight of the ball there. I mean, it looks lined up and just off the back of the iron. So uh, you're not, you know, anytime shooters kind of go in streaks like that, uh, Megan Robbins unable to connect. So here comes Richfield with an 18 point lead, left angle to Steck. She's been lights out in this game, has Jerrica. Top of the key, Alexa Lord. Bounce pass inside left wing. Goes to Old Roy and traveled before she went to the drive. Good D by Willow K. Yeah, uh, Old Roy there just picks up her pivot foot uh, and uh, moves her feet before she puts the basketball down on the floor. Richfield 33, Juab 15, 453 left in the third. Lady Wasps will bring it up on the far side with Robbins on the dribble. Robbins out top, Hyatt left wing goes to Heap. Bailey hands it off and then tipped out of bounds as Hyatt took it and writes with a cat-like hands. Yeah, she's got quick hands, uh, just denying uh, Tatum Hyatt the baseline there. Inbounds left corner, Hyatt. Tatum gets it in to Robbins left wing. Megan out top to Bailey Heap. Heap dribbles, dishes back out right wing. Out of the right corner to Heap again. Heap launches the right wing three. Off the glass for three. At this point, uh, the Lady Wasp will take it. <laughs> As we said earlier, uh, Bailey Heap uh, stepping up and knocking down a three with the bank shot. 33-18, cuts it to a 15-point lead for Richfield, who has the ball. Steck left angle, dribbles out top. Alexa Lord to answer, and she answers very nicely. She drains a three-pointer. Well, she's two for two from three-point land in the first half, and she steps up, steps up right there, showing senior leadership and knocking that three down. Now, nice drive by Bailey Heap. Can't get the shot to go off the window. Gets it back, though. Goes up for the shot. Shoots and scores over the top of a defender. Yeah, great job there by Will OK on, this, on the offensive rebound, then kicking it back to Bailey Heap, who promptly puts it off the glass uh, for two. Lady Cats, 36. Juab, 20. Left angle is Jerrica Steck. Out top, Lord. Right wing, Wrights. Wrights dribbles in on the angle. Now back out to Steck. She'll dribble outside the arc to the right wing. And then a ticky foul called on Emilia Anderson. And now checking into the game for the Richfield Lady Wildcats is Sapola. Vako Takakala, and uh, she will come into the game along with Juab's Val Clark. Yeah, Emily Anderson uh, picking up a reaching foul there, her second uh, on uh, Steck, and so it's going to be Richfield ball on the baseline. Kind of a bittersweet game for both of these teams. There's a pass in to uh, Vako Takakala. She shoots and scores, Sapola does. Well, great job there executing the inbounds play by Richfield to get the easy two. Well, bittersweet, I mentioned for both of these teams, this is the last game of some of these girls' career as seniors on the floor in high school basketball, and they're playing for third place at state. I'm sure uh, both teams would like to be playing for the championship. Now driving in, right wing heap, shot no good, rebound taken by Richfield, a three-on-two break. Here comes Lord, pull-up jumper from 12, no. Rebound taken by Moon, her shot no good. And then the Wasps get it. Well, two attempts there by the Wildcats, just unable to finish, and uh, Juab with the ball the other way. Bailey Heap gives it off, uh, top high at left wing, Robbins. Robbins launches the three, no good again. Rebound, Heap tips it. Got it, but she was fouled. And that'll be out of bounds for the Lady Wasps with 2.52 left in the third, 38 to 20. And good to see Robbins not shying away from the three. Eventually, they're going to fall for her. Well, I, I, you know, that's what coaches do. you got to coach your shooters up and continue to, to fire away. Inbounds play, comes in for the Wasps in the lane. He turns around, kind of a jackknife move in the air, shoots but can't get it to go, and rebounded by Richfield. Uh, Wright's the point guard there with a, a rebound. Now with the ball, Moon back outside, Lord for three. No, as it rims off. Rebound taken away nicely by Anderson. Or no, Clark, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, sophomore Val Clark there with another strong uh, board. Now right wing going in high, it makes a nice stop, shoots but leaves it short. Rebound taken, going back up Val Clark, and she's fouled. And she'll find herself at the State Bank of Southern Utah free throw line. Well, just a hustle play there. Val Clark, Johnny on the spot, uh, picking up the offensive rebound and going for the putback, and then she's fouled. Uh, number 22 for the Wild Lady Wildcats, Alexa Lord, picks up her second personal. Free throw on the way, that is good. For Val Clark, checking into the game is going to be Amanda Oldroyd and Allison Lord. Alexa will take a seat. Steck will have a breather. One more for Valerie Clark at the free throw line for Juab, down by 17, 38-21. Both halves, the Lady Wasps have chipped away at the lead nicely. Uh, when you're down uh, 
15 plus, uh, you, you got to take it one possession at a time. He gets the rebound, shoots, and score. Oh, it bounces out on the missed free throw. She had an excellent opportunity, couldn't get it to go. And now a foul is called on the Juab Lady Wasps. Bailey Heap is going to pick that one up. Yeah, that, that's just a tough, tough play right there. Bailey Heap doing a great job getting the offensive rebound. It looks like it's actually the ball's down inside the rim, just crawls back out, and then in frustration, she picks up her second foul. Bender and Anderson will check in at the next break. Wright dribbles top of the key, bounce pass to Vako Takakala. Vako Takakala puts it out top again to Oldroyd. Right wing, Moon, 4-3. Yes, Jordan Moon, wow. These Lady Cats are shooting lights out. Yeah, Jordan Moon, she wants to get in the action too. Boy, they're really just, you know, looking for that three ball and uh, very uh, diverse attack by the Lady Wildcats. Robbins dribbles, nice pass to the left side. Baseline drive by Clark, shoots, can't get a go. She's whistled. A foul call on the Lady Cats. More free throws coming for Juab, but it's a 20-point lead for Richfield. 41-21 with a minute 44 left in the third as we glance up at our Nephi City scoreboard. Yeah, just difficult to overcome, you know, when, a, when the opposing team is raining threes as the Lady Wildcats are. It's hard to chip away at that lead. In comes Emily Anderson. Out goes Hyatt, out goes Robbins. In comes Bender, Brindley Bender. One more free throw coming for Val Clark at the charity stripe. On the way, good. Knocks down two, makes it a 41-23 game in favor of Richfield. On the dribble up is Wrights. Lady Katz, Watt Wrights, loses the ball, goes back and gets it. Dribbles to the right angle, marked up by Tatum Hyatt. Or check that, Brindley Bender. Now driving in is Wrights, swings it over, left corner three on the way. In and out, no good for Jordan Moon. Rebound taken by Bailey Heap. Strong rebound by Bailey Heap as she pushes the ball up and uh, Wrights almost with a steal. Heap gets it back, drives in, floats it up, and no. And rebound taken by the Lady Cats. There's a steal, tipped away. Here comes Anderson, tries for the layup, and she is fouled from behind by Jordan Moon. It quickly comes to help her out. I sure love to see the sportsmanship there. Most of the boys' teams would have just left them on the ground, right? <laughs> That's right. You know, these girls, they've been battling each other. Richfield and Jew have been going head-to-head -head, uh, for a long time, and they, they both, both programs have a lot of respect for each other, and uh, it's nice to see the sportsmanship, as you mentioned. Free throw short for Emily Anderson. Yeah. She'll have another. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to mention the yeah, free throw shooting uh, for Juab has been an Achilles heel all tournament long. Second one up and good, and it's down to a 17-point Richfield lead, 41-27. 106 left in the third quarter as we take a look at our Jones and Mill Engineering scoreboard. Now, Amanda Oldroyd for the Lady Cats, left wing to Moon. She'll launch another three, hits the iron, bounces high out to the high post, picked up by Richfield. Amanda Oldroyd on top to Passion Wrights. Now dribbling left angle. Left corner goes, Vako Takakala with a shot, no good. Sapola couldn't get that one to drop, and rebound tipped out of bounds by the Lady Cats on the near side in front of the bench, and it'll be Juab ball. Well, uh, I'm sure Coach Peterson would prefer that uh, his team run some offense a little bit more. They're kind of falling in love with the three, but when you're hitting them like they are, you can't blame them. So uh, that ball gets tips, tipped out of bounds, uh, Juab basketball. Inbounds, Tatum Hyatt in the game. Megan Robbins is in, right wing pass to Bender. Pass in the lane, goes to Anderson. Emilia drives in, lost the handle, and lost it out of bounds. Uh, it looked like there was some contact uh, on the dribble drive there by Emilia Anderson, uh, but uh, the ball comes off of her leg and uh, turnover, Richfield basketball. 25 seconds remain in the third quarter of play. Richfield 41, Juab 24. As we look at our Centricom Channel 10 scoreboard, special thanks to our producer, Nate Palmer. He's been here all day, every day for the last three days running, I think, every game. He's been camped here right in front of us all day long. And I think they just gave him a dollar over minimum wage raise at work, so I think he's he's doing okay. He's he, in the red. He deserves it. <laughs> he's in the black, hopefully. There's a shot at the buzzer right there, up and good. What a great job by Allison Lord as she drains it. Richfield dribbling out the clock and then found Lord for the jumper, and 43-24 is our score after three quarters. We'll be back on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. The Nephi City Mayor, City Council, and employees are excited about the Juab Wasps this sports season. 
They would like to wish the Juab High School team, coaches, faculty, staff, and student body success during the sports season. The entire city fully supports educational opportunities and athletic competition in molding the future leaders of Juab County. Nephi City wants all involved to know that they're behind the school 100%. Happy to be a Juab sports booster, Nephi City. The Intermountain Power Service Corporation is proud to bring you this presentation. IPSC is a community-minded company that contributes to our local schools, community organizations, and economy. The Intermountain Power Project consistently ranks among the best of America's coal-based power plants in reliability, cost-effectiveness, and environmental responsibility. Intermountain Power Service Corporation strives for perfection and is honored to be actively involved with Delta Millard and Juab High Schools. Well, fourth quarter action for the final game in the high school career of the seniors on this court. Juab trailing 43-24, and Richfield has the basketball after a shot at the end of the third quarter by Allison Lord that sank at the buzzer. Now right wing is Allison with the ball. Right corner goes to Wrights. Right swings it around the horn to Moon. Moon drives to the free throw line, back out to Wrights. Right corner pass. Good rotation defense by the Wasps. Now back outside, Jerrica Steck. Fakes left, goes right, drives the lane, shoots it up, can't get it to go. One of the foul call, didn't get it, and rebounded by the Lady Wasps. Yeah, tough shot there uh, by Steck, and does equally as tough a defense by the Lady Wasp. Right now, 7.27 left, driving in. Bailey Heap floats, hangs, shoots, no, as it rims out. Rebound, Richfield. Here comes the Lady Cats, Jerrica Steck in the right corner. Gives it back to Lord out top, goes to Wrights. Wrights back out to Allison, Lord left side. Now trying to find it to Alexa, but Bailey Heap breaks that up. Now left angle, driving in is Wrights. Back out to Lord. Allison gets a screen from Alexa or vice versa. Now back over to the right wing, out top to Alexa. Alexa Lord gives it off to Moon. Good pass work by the Lady Cats, but better defense by the Lady Wasps. Now driving in, Wrights finds a seam, shoots, and scores on the drive. Well, just a fantastic move there by point guard Passion Wright. She's uh, going right to left and just attacks the rim and lays that one in. 45-24, long three for the Wasp right angle. That is no good by Emily Anderson. Rebound taken, Steck left wing. She'll launch the three left wing. She hits the rim, no good. Rebound, Lord down low. Her shot is redirected out of bounds by Bailey Heap. It'll be Lady Cats ball out of bounds and a 45-24, 21-point lead over Juab. Well, a great hustle play there by Alexa Lord, and you can tell just how hot Jerrica Steck feels from three. Probably had a layup if she continues to attack the rim, but she pulls up. She's really feeling it and takes the shot from three-point land. Lady Cats writes, passion passes, hits the backboard, and that'll be out of bounds for Juab. 6.29 left in the fourth. These Lady Cats just one point away from going to overtime or even making it into the state championship game yesterday as Grantsville beat them 40-39. They had a couple of chances late to shoot a shot in to win, but uh, they were blocked by Grantsville. Yeah, just a, a tough, tough loss for the Lady Wildcats. Right wing driving in. Oh, nice fake shot. Drive shot no good there by Robbins, and then rebound knocked out of bounds by Richfield. Now with 6-11 left here in the fourth. It'll be Tatum Hyatt on the sideline to put this one in play. Well, Juab just trying to chip away at this lead here and uh, trying to convert on every possession. Lady Wasp lob it down low, and that is picked off nicely by Jordan Moon. Back comes Moon the other way, pass to Wrights. Wrights drives in, back outside, goes to Steck. Top to Moon. 5.57 left in the game. Richfield backs it up. Now out top. Wrights, Passion swings it off to Steck. Left wing three on the way, hits the rim no good. Rebound taken by Emily Anderson. Emily Anderson just having a monster game with uh, on the rebounds on the boards today. Now left angle, Tatum Hyatt with it for Juab, makes a move, goes baseline, drives in. Oh, nice scoop shot, but it doesn't go. Rebound taken by the Lady Cats. Lord, lead pass goes to Steck. Left angle, thought about the three, and she gets fouled by Megan Robbins. And Steck pounds the ball on the floor, wasn't happy. Well, this time she squares up, uh, and uh, Robin's able to get in defensive position and ball fakes and then just draws the contact. Uh, but great job there by senior Alexa Lord again, you know, looking up the court, pushing the ball to get uh, to her teammates out in front. 5.24 left in the fourth quarter. It's Richfield 45, Juab 24. Wrights will get it in, goes down low to Moon. Moon on the low block, goes up, shoots, and no good. 
But a foul coming to Megan Robbins as she tried to get in position for the defense and bumped her. Well, Jordan Moon there doing a, a great job with the back cut on the inbounds play and catching Robbins out of position. Now her Megan, second personal. Megan a sophomore? She, a junior. Junior. So yeah, another, another year coming. And the free throw missed by Jordan Moon. Jordan Moon also a junior uh, for Richfield. And the free throw by Moon is good. 46-24, a 22-point Richfield lead. Now the Lady Wasp right wing, Heap, hands it off there, long three by Robbins, and she drains a three. Well, that's got to feel good for Megan. She's been uh, cold this, this game, and uh, to finally get the stroke down, uh, that's always a confidence builder. 5.02 left in the game and the season for these teams. Uh, top stick over to right's left angle, dribbles to the top of the key, keeps her dribble with her back to the defense. Now right wing pass to Lord, denied nicely by Willow K on the D, and back out she comes. Left wing goes to Steck, 4.43 left here in the fourth. Wrights hands it off to Steck. Steck swings it back to the right angle, Allison Lord. Richfield being very patient, Rick. Yeah, great ball movement and uh, spacing, and this time uh, senior Alexa Lord's uh, going to penetrate and pick up the foul. Looks like the official's going to call it down, and he does. Val Clark checking in for the Lady Wasp. Uh, out goes uh, Emilia Anderson uh, with her third foul on that play. But, yeah, great patience by the Lady Wildcats. Coach Peterson, does he does such a great job of teaching spacing and ball movement. Inbounds, oh, low block, nice pass to Moon. She was point blank, no one there, and she missed the bunny. Yeah, yeah, those point blank shots, sometimes you're so open, you don't know what to do with it. 420 left here in the game, 46-27. Juab trails Richfield, Lady Cats with some pretty good D. Here comes Hyatt into the teeth of the defense, shoots it up, can't get it to the O, but Willow K rebounds and scores. Yeah, uh, Willow K, great job there, just following the shot, just like you're taught, you know, follow and read the carom. She does, she picks up the offensive board and the putback. Now with four minutes left, Richfield leading 46-29. They'll start to clear off some of their bench now and get them into the game for this state appearance. Now right wing Lord, she's going to drive in, floats it up with the left hand, couldn't scoop it in. Rebound, Willow K. Now back comes Megan Robbins. Out top it goes. See if we can keep the hot hand going with Megan. Give her another pass there. There she has it. She thought about it, but she is a little too far out. Yeah. Now has to dribble and pass it back. Left wing goes to Bailey Heap. She'll go to the drive, left angle, scoops it up, can't get it to go. May have been partially blocked by Alexa Lord. Yeah, Alexa Lord coming over from the weak side uh, for the block there. And her sister, Allison Lord, gets the pass down low and lays it in for Richfield. Well, sophomore Allison Lord having a great second half there, just that time running the court and uh, finishing on the other end. 48-29, right wing three, Bailey Heap rims up high, bounces off, no good, almost bounced in. Rebound taken by Alexa Lord. Alexa dribbling the basketball, swings it back to Passion Wrights. Wrights left wing, driving in. Going to be Moon back on top. Lord's going to drive. Alexa scoops it, gets fouled by Willow K. That'll be Willow's fourth personal, I believe. And that'll be free throws at the free throw line, brought to you by Discount Furniture and Drew Bay Chevrolet. Well, just an outstanding move there by senior Alexa Lord. We should give her a shout out. This is her final. Uh, game suiting up for the Lady Wildcats there with a Euro step as she knocks in the free throw. Uh, Alexa averaging uh, 17 points per game on the season, one of the top scorers in 3A. Just an outstanding career for the Lady Wildcats. And at the line, Lord, 49-29, a 20-point lead, makes it a 50-29 game with that free throw there. Now checking back into the game is Sapola Vakotakakala. And now also coming in, I think you mentioned, may have mentioned, it was number 20, and that was Haley Curley. Now driving all the way down is high and almost scooped it in, but a rebound by Avaka Takakala. And back comes Richard. Oh, nice behind the back dribble by Haley. Haley Curley with a fancy dribble. And then lost and taken by Bailey Heap. Here comes Heap with 2.30 left in the game. Drives on the right angle. Dishes down low. Beautiful pass going up for the shot was Amelia Anderson. She was fouled, and she'll find her way to the Richfield Kids Dental free throw line. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. 
Nephi Federal Credit Union in Nephi offers convenient service and a variety of financial services. They're your hometown credit union that's been serving local residents for over 63 years, longer than any other financial institution in Nephi. The staff invites you to check out their incredible rates on a variety of loans and savings accounts. Nephi Federal Credit Union, 155 North Main in Nephi. Call 623-1895. That's 623-1895. Nephi Federal Credit Union, proud supporter of the Wasps this season. Free throw number one is in. Second one, no good. Rebound taken by Richfield. They bring it down. Quick shot. That's no good. Rebound, Juab. 2-11 left in the game. 50-30 at 20-point Richfield lead. Hyatt out top. Makes a move. Goes all the way around the world. Lays it in with the right hand. Yeah, nice job there by Tatum. Hyatt just imposing her will. Uh, not going to be stopped going to the rim there for two. Here comes Richfield leading 50-32. They will win third place here at State, it appears. Now on the right wing is Jerrica Steck. Now back the other way, goes Wrights. Wrights back out to Curley. Haley gives it off to Passion Wrights. Back to Curley. Oh, nice dribble. Curley drives in, dishes down low to Vakatekakala. She scores. Well, absolutely beautiful move there by senior number 20, Haley Curley, uh, looking a lot like Stephen Curry there with the back behind the dribble uh, penetration move. And we'll call her Haley Curry from now on. That's right. There's a left wing three on the way. That's an air ball out of bounds with a minute 16 left. And it's going to be sub time now. Willow K will check back in. Also checking in for the Lady Wasps is Day. Alawa Day in for the Lady Wasp. Uh, all three seniors just heading it, checking out for the Lady Wasp to applause uh, from the uh, uh, crowd, uh, Tatum, Hyatt, Bailey Heap, and Emily Anderson all checking out. So outstanding careers for the Lady Wasp. Kylie Robinson checks in for the Richfield Lady Cats. Haley Curry, Steph Curry's younger sister, <laughs> brings the ball up. It's Haley Curley. Just go with it, folks. Well, she's got she's got handles like like Curry does. Soraya Rock in the game too, dribbling. Now behind the back is Curley. Curley now <laughs> just having fun with Megan. Megan is going to tip it away, and what do we got called here? Five uh, seconds? Yeah, five-second call. Maybe a little too much Stephen Curry on, on that one. <laughs> She's having fun out yes, there. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, and they should. You know what? What a great atmosphere to finish out the season. Now pass right wing. Megan Robbins for three. Rims up high. No good. Rebound. And a foul going to be called against Sapola Vaka Takakala is going to the free throw line now for the Lady Cats is Aloha Day. Yeah, great job there by Aloha uh, on the rebound <laughs> uh, with Sapola picking up her uh, second foul. Free throw, no good. Into the game will come Richfield's Melissa Crane. 45 seconds remain. It's a 52-32 lead for the Richfield Lady Cats. Checking out will be, of course, Sapola Vaka Takakala. You know, one thing we've got to mention here, Mike, just the emotion of this game being the final game of the season for both teams. You see the girls, a lot of them crying and hugging their coaches as they come out. Uh, pretty emotional moment for these high school kids, and uh, it's just what it's all about. You know, this is why we do this, and uh, just, you know, it, it's great to see the passion and the excitement and that commitment that these girls have. Inbounds play. They get it today. Aloha puts it over to the right side. Left corner, Megan Robbins for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound taken by the Lady Cats. And then tipped out of her hands as she dribbles down. Melissa Crane tipped out by Megan Robbins. 32 seconds left. A lot of these young ladies very athletic, and they'll either be lacing on the track shoes or the uh, softball cleats to play this spring. Yeah, you'll see many of these girls out running track or playing softball here coming up. Great pass there by the Lady Wildcats on the inbounds play. And that pass was to Ellie Belknap, who scores off the window. 54-32, 24 seconds left. Megan Robbins dribbles on the right wing. She's going to pass it out to her teammate. Now on top it goes to Clark. Val, left wing goes to Kay. Willow's going to drive. Goes baseline. Going to be fouled by Melissa Crane. That'll be free throws at the free throw line, which is sponsored by Valley Tank and Richfield Kids Dental for Willow Kay. Uh, you, you see here the future out here. It's great to see all these players, uh, mostly sophomores and juniors, and uh, I fully expect that these two teams will continue to have success and face each other in the future. Free throw high archer bounces off, no good. Rebound taken by the Lady Cats, Kylie Robinson. 
A yeah, strong rebound there by the sophomore, Kylie Robinson. Seven seconds left. The Sunrise Engineering postgame show coming up next, serving communities like yours all over the western United States. Sunrise Engineering. And dribbling out will be Steph Curry's little sister, <laughs> Haley Curry, or Haley Curry. Uh, Curly, rather. And then that's going to end the game as the time expires. 54-32, the Richfield Lady Wildcats take third place at state. The Jueb Lady Wasp finished fourth. And I tell you what, at the beginning of the season, no one thought Jueb would finish probably in the top 10 in the state. Uh, you know, you're right, Mike. I think most uh, most of the predictions were that the Lady Wasp maybe finished middle of the pack in Region 14 behind Union, Delta, and Carbon. And, uh, you know, the Lady Wasp proved everybody wrong. They only had two losses in region play against Carbon and then two uh, huge wins in the state tournament to get to the Final Four, culminating with the big win over Judge Memorial uh, in the quarterfinals. So uh, hats off to Coach Wallace and the Lady Wasp. They have nothing to hang their heads about today. This is a tough loss to a great Richfield team, but uh, congratulations to the Lady Wasp. All right, we'll take a break. Back with our Sunrise Engineering postgame show coming up, creating solutions that work and relationships that last. Sunrise Engineering, learn more at sunrise-eng.com. We'll be right back. Azomite Mineral Products in Nephi is using a unique deposit to create fertilizers and as a feed ingredient for customers all over the world. Their feed grit product used as a feed ingredient for livestock is gaining popularity because research has indicated its potential to improve overall animal health. Azomite can be found at your IFA country store, Steve Regan stores, or on their website at azomite.com. For more information, visit them on Facebook, Twitter, or the web. Azomite is excited to be part of the Nephi community and supports Juab High School Athletics. Winter may be just starting, but Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore is already thinking spring. In fact, Brooklyn Garden has started planting flowers and will soon have pansies sprouting. So as the winter weather continues to turn colder, think spring warm with Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore and start planning how your yard will look next year and plan on Brooklyn Garden for all your planting needs this upcoming spring. Call or visit Brooklyn Garden in Elsinore at 881 South Brooklyn Road. Classic Motors 120 South Main Richfield announcing Ram Truck Month, the 2018 Dodge V6 Journey. $7,600 off yours for $20,048. 2019 Ram Tradesman out the door at $34,169. The 2018 Ram 2500 Tradesman Crew Cab discounted nearly $7,500 under $38,000. A 2018 Jeep Wrangler 4x4 at $38,432. Go to ClassicMO.com for tradition worth preserving during Ram Truck Month. Unique gifts, furniture, and home decor with a staff second to none. That describes the discount furniture outlet at 115 North Main Richfield. Chad Larson and his helpful, friendly staff welcome you to experience the quality and especially the hometown service as you shop local in Richfield. Discount furniture outlet is the place to go for home, office, furniture, and decor. 115 North Main Richfield, proudly serving the Sevier Valley cities and towns. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to BarneyTrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. As tax season once again approaches, remember Kimball and Roberts at 176 North Main in Richfield. Kimball and Roberts will save you time and stress this year when they file your state and federal taxes. The tax professionals at Kimball and Roberts know and understand all the new tax codes and lingo so you don't have to. They can also help you find deductions and credits that you may miss. Skip the stress and headache and visit Kimball and Roberts at 176 North Main in Richfield or call 896-6488. And we're back once again on the Sunrise Engineering post-game show. Sunrise Engineering, we live and work close to you. See our locations at sunrise-eng.com. The Richard Lady Wildcats take third place at state as they beat the Juab Lady Wasp by a score of 54 to 32. Let's take a look at our stats of this game. We'll go with team stats first with Rick Robbins. Okay, uh, with the team stats, uh, we'll start with the Lady Wasp. Uh, they finished from the field only 23%. 
uh, 10 of 43. So a great job by uh, Richfield defensively, only 4 of 18 from the three-point line, and then 8 of 19 from the free throw line. As we mentioned, that had been an Achilles heel for the Lady Wasp. Really all tournament long. Uncharacteristically, they've been around 70% all season long, but uh, today only 8 of 19. Uh, Rebounding-wise, uh, they had 27 total team rebounds, 17 defensive, 10 offensive, and then uh, 14 uh, turnovers, uh, also four steals. Uh, for the Lady Wildcats in victory uh, and uh, third place, uh, team-wise, they finished 18 of 43 for 42% uh, from the field. And then the big stat of the game, I believe, that really uh, was the, uh, the factor that uh, really made the difference today, 10 of 19 from three-point land. Uh, for the Lady Wildcats. So just an outstanding job from three-point land. And then from the free throw line, uh, eight of 11. So 73% from the free throw line. Just an outstanding job there as well by the Lady Wildcats. 28 total team rebounds. So only one, one rebound separated the do, two teams uh, on the glass. They also had 12 assists and uh, eight turnovers. So they, the Lady Wildcats held their turnovers uh, below 10, as we mentioned in the pregame, as, as a key uh, stat there and then five steals. So uh, those are your team stats, Mike. All right, we'll take another break here on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centricom Channel 10, back with more of our Sunrise Engineering postgame show next. No matter how you connect, Centricom delivers fast, reliable internet and powerful whole home mesh Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device all at once. With experts ready to help, connect to faster internet. Connect with Centra Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click centracom.com to upgrade your internet today. New Holland's T7 Series tractors from Mason Machinery in Springville and Aurora deliver more power but lower your operating costs. Talk about a great combination. These 100 to 195 PTO horsepower tractors feature engines with EcoBlue SCR engine technology. They breathe better for more complete combustion and deliver cleaner power, increased torque, and enhanced fuel economy. Stop by Mason Machinery in Springville and Aurora and learn more about the T7 Series tractors from New Holland. Richfield Kids Dental welcomes new dental hygienist Kaylee Peckham. Kaylee is a graduate of Utah Valley University's Dental Hygienics Program. She's proficient in cleaning teeth, including braces, applying sealants and fluoride, and Kaylee speaks fluent Spanish. Let Kaylee assist you and your family with the latest in dental hygiene practices. Richfield Kids Dental, located at the south end of Richfield, pediatric dental specialists serving infants, children, and teens in the Sevier County area and surrounding cities. Hi, this is Eric Schmutz, President of State Bank of Southern Utah. I want you to know that State Bank is healthy, well capitalized, and we have money to lend. You should know that we have the best lending officers in the state. In fact, State Bank has been ranked the number one medium SBA lender in Utah for the past two years in a row, and we're working hard to make it three. If you have a project that we can help with or any financial need, please give us a call or stop by any of our 13 offices. In Richfield, call 896-9287. State Bank of Southern Utah, member FDIC. D.P. Curtis Trucking is a family-oriented business that works hard to get their drivers home on the weekend. D.P. Curtis is hiring reliable drivers with starting wage at 40 cents per mile, going to 42 cents after 90 days. Additional pay for tarps, drops, fix, and additional trailers. Employment options include insurance, 401k, paid vacation, and bonuses, and more. If you'd like to join the D.P. Curtis family, call for details, 435-893-2886. That's 893-2886, or click dpcurtis.com. I'm Sid with Valley Tank Service. If you have a septic system, you have a significant investment, which some folks don't think much about until it gives them trouble. Responsible homeowners know that getting the life their system was designed to provide requires regular maintenance. Well, Valley Tank Service has been taking care of wastewater systems around here for 30 years. Won't you consider putting our experience to work for you? Call me at 896-4021. Thanks. Welcome back one final time on our Sunrise Engineering post-game show, creating solutions that work in relationships that last. Sunrise Engineering, we're growing and we're hiring. Go to sunrise-eng to find out more. Well, let's take a look at our individual stats to wrap up this game and uh, then kind of give our little thoughts about these teams and their players of the game. Okay, so uh, we'll start with the Lady Wasp. 
uh, individually. Uh, Will O'K finished with two points and a strong showing on the glass with seven rebounds. Uh, senior Tatum Hyatt playing in her final game as the as a Lady Wasp. She had six points. Uh, also, uh, senior Bailey Heat playing in her final game had an outstanding uh, showing today with eight points and five uh, rebounds. Uh, senior uh, playing in her final game as well. Emily Anderson for the Lady Wasp, four points, but seven rebounds as well. Megan Robbins finished with the two threes and six points. And sophomore Val Clark come off the bench uh, for a strong game today with uh, six points and five rebounds. For the uh, winning uh, Richfield Lady Wildcats on their side individually, uh, Junior Passion Wrights with five points uh, as well as eight rebounds for a point guard. So a great job there on the glass uh, today for Passion. Uh, junior Jordan Moon uh, also four points, four rebounds. Senior Alexa Lord, just an outstanding career for the Lady Wildcats. She finishes today with 13 points, eight rebounds, and uh, three of five from three-point land, as well as four, four of four from the free throw line. And then Junior Jerrica Steck, what can you say about her performance today? Just uh, outstanding, 16 points. Uh, a uh, total of two rebounds, but she was four of seven from three-point land, so really hitting from deep. Uh, Amanda Oldroyd, uh, uh, junior, with four points and four rebounds. And then uh, sophomore Sapola uh, Vaka Takakala uh, off the bench with six points as well. And then sophomore uh, Allison Lord with uh, four points. And Ellie Belknap, sophomore, come off the bench with two points. Uh, so those are your individual uh, point totals for today. All right, as you take a look at both teams, maybe a player of the game for each team for today's game? Well, uh, we'll start with the, the Lady Wasp. I, I thought uh, Bailey Heap today fin as a senior playing in her last uh, game as a, a, a Lady Wasp, uh, you know, had a great season all year long, averaged about 10 points per game, was one of the steals leaders all year long as well uh, in 3A. She finished with eight points and five rebounds. So we'll go with Bailey Heap on the Juab side. On the Lady uh, Wildcat side, I, I think junior Jerrica Steck was the difference, especially in the first half as she hit three, went three for three from three-point land in the first quarter to really stretch that Richfield lead and, and get the momentum going for the Lady Wildcats. All right. Well, a special thanks to you, Rick. Thanks for joining us for the broadcast. Appreciate you. You'll be back next year, I'm sure, because Megan's going to be back for her senior year. As always, I appreciate the opportunity, Mike. It's just great to see these kids perform. All right. That's Rick Robbins. Uh, of course, Nate Palmer is our producer. I'm Mike Trena. A special thanks to all of our sponsors who have been patient with us, Centricom, Drew Bay Chevrolet, Intermountain Power Service Corporation, Jones & DeMille Engineering, Azamite, Nephi Federal Credit Union, Garrett Honda, Central Valley Medical Center, Cash Valley Bank, Nephi City, Juab County, as well as State Bank of Southern Utah, Barney Trucking, Mesa Machinery, DP Curtis Trucking, Brooklyn Garden, Classic Motors, Kimball Roberts, CPA, Valley Tank Service, and Richfield Kids Dental and Discount Furniture. Again, your final score of the Richfield Lady Wildcats take third place in 3A State here at the Sevier Valley Center in Richfield, and Juab takes fourth as Richfield gets the 54-32 victory over the Juab Lady Wasps. Have a great afternoon, everyone. been listening to exciting high school basketball action on South Central Utah sports leaders, Mid-Utah Radio and Centricom Channel 10. This sports broadcast has been brought to you by sports-minded sponsors throughout South Central Utah. Join us next time for more exciting high school basketball action on Centricom Channel 10 and Mid-Utah Radio.